Hello, this is Ali Nasser. I am SolidWorks Fight Expert. Today I will show uh, a new tool in SolidWorks 2019. Uh, amazing tool, a Slice Mesh. A Slice Mesh uh, tool that allow us to generate sketches uh, directly from our mesh uh, geometry uh, or scan part uh, to to can be used uh, to generate a solid body just like our traditional solid work is parts so uh, let's start open solid work is i will import the file uh, stl file from here uh, don't forget to check uh, select all files and press STL files will import it now. The files have graphics faces. You cannot uh, take a sketch on any faces. Uh, so you have uh, to use uh, new uh, tools in SolidWorks 90, uh, 2019 uh, slicing. Uh, how to uh, add slicing in a sketch? Uh, by uh, Select Customize from here. Go to Commands. You will find it in Sketch. Add slicing here, or uh, or you can find by uh, type the name of the commands in a common search. Slicing is. Okay, let's select slicing. A slicing needs plane. Uh, I will select switchable plane like top plane. Uh, the first tab uh, you have uh, select the number of nests of planes. I will increase the uh, offset between planes and decrease number of nests. I will uh, take two planes. Two planes uh, intersect with the part. Uh, the profile will be exact like uh, original part, or you ha you could uh, use circular profile or rectangular. Uh, let's uh, okay. Press okay. Now I have two profiles. If I hide the original part, I have two profiles like this. I will show the, the original part again. Uh, I have to um, make first profile and uh, the end profiles. And let's select uh, the front plane and take sketch on it. And now I will change uh, the display style to chanted. Uh, I will create a line here. And here between the points of the start and the end of the first profile. And other profile here. Also, you can have uh, or add the uh, line like this. Uh, what I what I do now, uh, I will create a blend on this line perpendicular to um, the front plane. Uh, let's take reference geometry blend and select this line. As well, the blend will be perpendicular to front. I will repeat uh, this step again for the second line. And uh, the last line. Will be perpendicular to front. Now we have uh, blends, uh, we can uh, use slicing 
I was slicing with the first blend with a number of nestons will be one slicing only. I have uh, first profile also. I can add profile here. Let's uh, hide this sketch I don't need now. Slicing on slice. The last slicing is one slicing only. Now I have uh, multi profiles. Uh, we can blend them uh, with uh, boundary or loft. I will hide the original part. Let's improve the, the profiles. Uh, and let's uh, hide the blends. I will improve the profiles by uh, edit sketch of first profile and uh, let's delete this line uh, and make fit spline with this profile uh, to prevent multi entities uh, in faces. I will select. Uh, I will press here, right click on the command manager and select uh, this blind tools. Let's select all this uh, profile and make fit as blind. Don't forget to uh, check uh, delete geometry. We have various profile. Uh, let let uh, do the previous steps here. I will delete this line and make that spline for all entities. Again, it's sketch. Train these lines, or you you can delete it. I will select them and press delete also there let's fit the spline ok this profile also I will make fit the spline like previous Trim. And fit is blind. Also, this profile, edit sketch, trim, and fit is blind. Now I have uh, uh, all sketches or all profiles uh, fit is blind to make a good uh, surface. Uh, let's uh, make guide curve with these profiles. I will select spline and make spline uh, coincident with these lines. You must uh, guide curve uh, boss the perimeter of profile axis. I will make coincident relation between two points. Oh, I, I have not selected the right uh, plane, so I will repeat this again. Let's use a 3D sketch. Fit is blind. And here.
we have to uh, guide curve and multi profiles I will blend them with uh, a boundary surface I select the profile and the profile at last profile uh, let's select uh, light curve uh, I will select, uh, select uh, um, manager the guide curve first guide curve and also select manager to select the other guide curve now we have a good meshing part like this And let's uh, make a solid part by close volume. If uh, I select curve through reference point, this point and this point to make a close contour. Reference point, this point, and click curve first, a uh, previous curve. Now we can use uh, a planar surface to close this loop and this loop let's knit this curves this uh, surface and uh, select planar close open loop now we can knit them again this surface with this surface and mix all it now we have solid part this solid part and graphics part uh, let's compare between them I will show and let's um, move the solid part to compare between them now we have we uh, created solid part from meshing part by using a uh, slicing meshing tool in solid work is 2019 uh, if uh, the part is solid and you wish to uh, intersection, uh, you could use uh, face curves also. Uh, the video is is uh, finished. I I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, this tutorial. Uh, let's uh, discuss uh, the previous steps in Arabic for our audience, Arabic audience. احنا كده uh, يعني استعرضنا ازاي بنحول الميشنج بارت لسوليد بارت ده باستخدام الايه سلايسنج اداه السلايسنج زي ما شفنا كده اللي احنا ممكن نقسم بيها البارت لعده بروفايلز وممكن نستخدم البروفايلز دي نعمل منها مزج زي ما احنا عملنا دلوقتي uh, ممكن برضو لو البارت جاي لك امبورتد مش ميشنج تقدر تستخدم الفيس كيرف الفيس كيرف بتشتغل مع الامبورتد بارت لكن ما بتشتغلش مع الميشنج بارت يعني ده مثلا لو هو امبورتد بارت او سوليد بارت حتى ممكن اقسمه زي ما انت شايف كده لعده بروفايلز وجايد كيرف بمنتهى السهوله يعني دوس اوكي كده هيعمل لك كرييتد للسيكشنز في السطح اللي انت اخترته تمام اتمنى يكون الفيديو مفيد وباذن الله نتقابل في فيديوهات اخرى كان معاكم مهندس علي ناصر تحياتي